Hi right, everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Lucy Dreaming, where things are really starting to open up. We've got a number of locations on the go now, and we're trying to figure out the story of St. Graham, which I believe is going to give us the colour combination we need to pull these uh, ropes for the bells. But first, I actually want to head back to the library because I want to try two things out. Number one, I want to see if the, um, the photo in this book can work as um, facial recognition tech. And then I also want to see if we can get a book based on the the story of saint graham not sure either of those things are going to work but we'll give it a go and see so um if I line up the line, maybe can we... that's the time his train was... It... it was obvious yeah, this, is... For us. this is pin code but okay it doesn't actually look like we can can use that at all so up... uh let's we can't take the photo out but let's that doesn't need any romantic poetry yeah i mean that isn't what I was clicking on. That doesn't need any romantic poetry. No, okay. Right, let's try this again then. It's a photo of We've Mr. got the, um... Deceased. He is indeed deceased. Let's see if we can get a different book out. I should probably return the book I'm borrowing first. Oh, okay. We don't want to do that just yet, I don't think. So, oh, we can fast travel, can't we? I forgot about that. Let's go back here. <clears throat> So, I've got the combination that we thought it was based on these windows written down next to me. Let's give it a go. I, I don't know if she'll actually let us pull any of these, but we, we can try. Oh yeah, we can. So, blue, red, yellow, and then white twice. Then yellow, blue, red, and then brown, which is the huge bell, which should hopefully make the whole building shake. Yes, okay. Whoa! I think I just heard something fall off the roof. Check out all that loot. I don't know how much of that is going to be important. I'm guessing we're looking for something in particular, but I mean, that's pretty cool. Let's grab don't all this. If I do. Possessive little blighters. Okay, well, something's been left. A hat pin. See a pin, pick it up, and all day long you'll have a pin. I'm sure there was something about a pin. I can't remember what was said about it, honestly. Um. Didn't we hear something about a pin? A shiny gold pin. This would be a great addition to any hat. Ah. It was to do with his hat, wasn't it? Let's see if we can use this on his hat. He'd notice if I did it now. Right, okay. So maybe we've got to time it? Is it a timed thing when he does his photo? Yes, okay. Not again. Yes. Give my hat back, you little bits. All right. And we'll take After the camera. All that, he ran the wrong way. <laughs> what a What a plunker indeed. Okay. Right, we've got a camera now. A paranoid camera. <laughs> it's an instant camera. Right. So what can we take a picture of with that? Hmm. I wonder if we can I mean, we could try using this on here. I wonder if this card will work in here. Face mismatch. Sorry. Okay. Selfie time. Oh, looks like that was the last photo. Oh. Uh, hmm. Okay, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure if we wanted to take a picture of ourselves but okay a photo of me won't help there okay if so I line up the library stamp the numbers in their eyes read 10 15 maybe that's the time his train was due to leave it was obviously important to him yeah points for effort though i guess their love affair was a secret at the time so this is the librarian and and Edmund, right? The question is, do we need a picture of Edmund to use this thing? Possibly, right? 
Maybe we can put this back now, though. Well, I tell you what, let's speak to her first, see if she can give us any more clues. She's busy stamping. Okay, can we can we talk to her? Hello, Miss Hamilton. Shh. Okay. Um. Right. What can you tell me about that book let's try your this. soul was yearning for? Oh, my dear Edmund. He was a local poet and a fine, fine man. He'd write the most beautiful poems just for me. Then one morning, he boarded a train and never came back. He sent the library that book and his membership card before he died. <laughs> Alright, fine. Is there any other way to access the newspaper archive? Is there any other way to access the newspaper archive? Not unless you can steal someone else's library card. And then somehow fool the archive's facial recognition software into thinking it's yours. Ah! Good idea, thanks. Don't be ridiculous. It's obviously a terrible idea. Of course. You need to know their personal pin number too. Of it's course. Better than waiting three months. Yeah. Okay. We don't. We don't. We don't need to say any more to her. What an idiot! Can't we just put this on here so, so we fool it into thinking that it's our a library card? Crime. Yeah. As long as no one looks at the name, or the date of birth, or the badly adhered and ill-fitting photograph. I wonder if it'll be enough to fool Satan. Well, we'll see, won't we? I don't know why I didn't think of that until she said it, right. but there we go. let's give it a go. Yes. We are Edmund. I am Karen. Oh my god. Oh, we know this. It's 1015, right? Why is everything obsessed accessed with a pin code these days? What's wrong with using the name of your favourite pet? Actually, I can never remember stuff like that anyway. 1015. Pin accepted. What would you like to do? Uh, we would like to search for the Disley Ferret. Searching. Search complete. Loading results. Have a satisfactory day. <laughs> satisfactory day. Alright, Fergus Fig, the man behind the ferret. Fergus Fig, the man behind the ferret. Fergus Fig, son of Archibald and Lucille, the late Lord and Lady of Fig Hall, intends to channel his inner mustelid in an attempt to promote his latest venture, Disneyland, a new theme park to be built on the Fig estate. The park has sparked controversy amongst local residents and invited anger from other members of the Fig family. Ah. Not least from Fergus's brother Horatio, who's been nothing if not vocal about his objections. When interviewed, Horatio Fig described the plans as a load of bloody bollocks. <laughs> End of article. <laughs> oh dear. Disney Ferret murdered. I think this is the one we want, right? Here's the rest of the article that was sent to yeah, me. Yeah, this is it. Disley Ferret Murdered. The director of Figgington's controversial new theme park, Disneyland, was found murdered the day before the grand opening. He was discovered dressed up as the park's mascot, the Disley Ferret. However, police are still searching for the missing head of the costume, as they believe it may help lead them to the head of the director, which was also missing. As most readers will be aware, the park's director was none other than Fergus Fig, and police suspect foul play within the ranks of the Fig family itself. Ah. Fergus's brother Horatio now the prime suspect for his murder. Police are asking locals for any information leading to Horatio's whereabouts. After he disappeared following a brief police interview on the night of the incident. Okay, so we're looking no for the way. brother. Murdered by his own brother. Or so Actually, they think. Actually, I can relate to that. <laughs> yeah. I'm still not sure why this article was sent to me, though. I should probably check out the old Fig Mansion and see what Ooh. I can find out. Cool. I'll add Fig Hall to my map. So we can go to Fig Hall now. All right. Well, I want to read this other thing: the new evidence in the murder case. New evidence in murder case. The mystery of the Disley Ferret murder continues. But new evidence has now come to light, and things are not looking good for Horatio ah. Fig. Already the prime suspect, Horatio's prolonged disappearance only compounds his guilt. But as if that wasn't enough, new DNA evidence places Horatio at the crime scene. 
and a subsequent search of Fig Hall has uncovered an antique duelling sword with Horatio's prints on the handle and Fergus's blood on the blade. Ooh. Add in Horatio's famous temper, fondness for drink and overall instability, and you don't have to be Nancy Drew to put the pieces <laughs> together. There's now a substantial reward for any information leading to Horatio's capture. Figgington Parish Council have also agreed to erect a memorial statue to Fergus in the town centre. Ah. In recognition of the fact that he tried to put Figgington on the map for something other than witch burning. <laughs> well, good, well, well done, check Fergus. Check out this statue and see what all the fuss is about. I'll add the town centre to my map. Oh, nice. Okay, we've got two places: the town centre and the Fig Mansion. What would you like to do now? Uh, log out. Goodbye, Edmund. Goodbye, Karen. Uh, right, out we go. We've got two new locations to check out. Uh, no new items, though. We have got these beetles and things. We have to remember that. We have to remember a lot of these items we've got. Uh, so, our diary. Add inspiration to the dream box bread baking related. I'm guessing we're going to have to wait until the village fate to do that. So, investigate Fig Hall and find the statue of Fergus Fig. Um, I mean, we've got Fig Hall first, so I guess we'll go there. And then we'll go to town centre later, I suppose. Ooh, check this place out. Welcome to Fig Hall Heritage Trust. Welcome to Fig Hall. <laughs> I see what you did there, Tom. <laughs> That's brilliant. Oh dear, easily amused, I know, but that that made me laugh. Right, Fig Hall, let's have a look. It smells like dust. And pensioners. Oh, not not a nice combination. Uh, there's a tree. Tis here. a tree. Tis a tree. Should we head inside? Oh, I see. It's like a museum now. I've got to say, I'm really enjoying this murder aspect of the story as well. Considering it started off as a game about a nightmare, it's taken a really cool turn. Welcome to Fig Hall. Fig Hall. Okay. What's this? Guides. Guides to Fig Hall. Okay. Can we take any of that? I don't need one. Well, we don't, we don't know Heritage that. Heritage Trust. Enjoy a scone in an old rich person's house. Catchy. Scone. The uh, the correct way of saying that as well. It's the Fig family's official purple and green colours. Right. Okay. Oh, missing sword. Looks like one of them's missing. Interesting. So a sword's a missing. A dueling sword. It looks like the other half of the pair's missing. Wonder if we're going to have to track that down. I don't have any jewels to fight. Okay. Fine. It's full of plastic logs. <laughs> Do we need plastic logs? F. I guess it stands for fig. Or maybe flammable. I would guess fig, yeah. Um, what else we got here? A painting, a vase? I feel like I've seen one of these before. Yeah, it's not unlike the one in our house, is it? A forest and a lake. I guess this is somewhere on the grounds. Probably, yeah. Um, so we've got the grey fireplace. Looks like a good place for a fire. Okay, we've got a receptionist here with a computer. They use it for checking membership details. And then a suspicious looking old lady. <laughs> Alright, should we talk to this guy? I'm not sure if we have a membership. Nice desk. Nice desk. Thank you. It has everything I need to manage all our members' needs. Good for you. Can I take a look around? Can I take a look around? Sure. Do you have a membership card? Yeah. Of course we do. Uh, my brother defiled my membership card. My brother defiled my membership card. That's rotten luck. If you tell me your membership number, I can print off a temporary visitor pass ah. for you. Alright. So, I can't remember it. I, be I guess we're going to have to get a membership number. I can't remember my membership number. Sorry. You'll just have to try and remember it. Okay. I find that if I just lie back and work through things in my head, the answer reveals itself eventually. If it right. helps, they all begin with H. Tea. They all begin with H T. Okay, can you tell me anything about the Fig Brothers? Can you tell me anything about the Fig Brothers? Esme is the expert on that sort of thing. Okay, is that the lady there? Bye. Goodbye. So I wonder if he was hinting at going to sleep. It's possible that we did have a membership number and the brother really did defile the card. In which case, maybe it will come to us if we go to sleep. Possibly. Or maybe it's just entirely different. Um, oh, I don't want to go outside. I don't want to go back in. Suspicious looking old lady. Her name tag says Esme. I'm watching you. <laughs> All right, Esme. Ridiculous gun. I think my mother would have fitted in well with this family. I wonder if it's going to turn out that the, the mother is like p 
part of the family or something and was exiled or something like that. That would be pretty cool, right? Posh people love stuff like this. They do. Right, let's talk to Esme. Hello, Esme. Hello, Esme. Welcome to Fig Hall. Thank you. Oh, it's nice to see young folk taking an interest in local history. Okay, what can you tell me about the Fig Brothers? What can you tell me about the Fig Brothers? Uh, if you've not got a visitor pass, I'm afraid I'm not authorised to tell you anything. Oh, come on. What are you doing? What are you doing? Watching. <laughs> what exactly are you watching? What exactly are you watching? The rooms, my dear. I'm an official room watcher. Right, okay. Do the rooms do anything worth watching? Do the rooms do anything worth watching? Not on my watch, they don't. No ice creams dropped on the floor. No lost pensioners. No missed opportunities to show off the secret priest hole. And no what, antique what was, vases sorry, going what, walkabouts. What was that last Not one? Well, Esme Duckworth's on the case. Take that, Marjorie. <laughs> Who's Marjorie? Who's Marjorie? You mean who was Marjorie? Who? Oh. She turned her back on her room to eat a curly whirly. <laughs> And when she looked back, one of the Fig family's antique vases had been stolen. Oh! It was out of here quicker than you can say. Marjorie, you're fired for eating a curly whirly and taking your eyes off the room while someone stole the antique vase. Did it get stolen and put in our house? You really take this room watching seriously. Wow, you really take this room watching seriously. The Heritage Trust is a very serious organisation. <laughs> Apparently so. They spent a lot of money getting hold of this place. Although they never managed to get control over the old estate. Oh? Oh, one of the Fig Twins refused to sell it. Ah. The Fig Twins? Oh, yes. Didn't you know? Oh, I've said too much. Get a visitor pass and I'll tell you all I know. So, were Horatio and the other one twins? Where can I get a pass? A visitor pass? Yeah. Are you a member of the Heritage Trust? Yes, we are. I am, but Lloyd used my membership card to scrape his hamster off our driveway. <laughs> oh, God. And I've already created one fake ID today. We have. That's okay, dear. Just pop over to the desk and tell them your membership number. They'll print you off a temporary visitor's pass. Okay, fine. I can't remember my membership number. Don't worry. It's in that little head of yours somewhere. I'm sure it will come back to you. Yeah, we're going to have to go to sleep Bye. for that. Come again soon. By so, the way, I heard the village fete is opening on the church grounds about ooh. now. They have a Goosey Wallop stall. That's always worth a visit. I mean, I've been waiting Thanks. to play Goosey Wallop since Wazd last year, so <laughs> I can't wait for that. But I doubt we're going to have time to do that in today's episode. However... I just want to go in and see if the vase is... It's, it's the one, right? It's the same as the one at Fig Hall. I guess we could add kleptomaniac to my mother's list of disturbing conditions. Yep. Looks like our mum stole that from Why Fig Hall. Why would I need to pick it up? Alright, well, just wanted to check that. But yeah, it looks like that is indeed what happened. So, I think we're probably... Oh, look, the village fate is here now as well. Oh, it's really cool. Look, we're unlocking all these cool places got to go to the town centre as well at some point. I imagine we're going to have to go back to sleep to get this HT number. So I'll tell you what guys, we'll leave it there. In the next one we'll try and go to sleep to get the number. This is really, really good. It's heating up so much now. Um, so as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne, Nate, Terminally Nerdy, Paul from the Phantom Fellows, Lyle, Barry Aldridge, Hobo and Numinous. And I'll see you next time.